So one of those other issues, number two on this list, is the reason why he stopped caring or he started caring when you stop is because he misses the attention and validation. Now, let me quickly say this. These issues I'm laying out for you of, of why this happens, it can occur in the dating stage and it can occur clearly in a relationship, even in a marriage. All right. So I just want to make that clear real quick. But yes, what I have seen with a lot of people is that sometimes the reaction to now actually caring and wanting to make an effort is because they missed how much you were caring before. They missed how much that made them feel good. And, and, and they want that security of knowing you still care. And this is going to sound crazy, but even in situations where they really don't plan on being better for you, they really don't plan on being consistent in pouring back into you. They just want to secure the attention and validation. Now, I'm going to give you an example. Don't take offense, okay? But I'm going to give you an example from a woman's side of how oh, this can happen with women as well just so that you can maybe see it more clearly. So one of the things that I've, I have come across many times is a dynamic where, let's say a couple is married, and while they're married, the man is trying to have sexual relations with his wife, and she is constantly turning him down. I got a headache, the kids, there's, there's every excuse in the book. Bottom line, she really don't like laying down with the man, but... She just comes up with reasons and excuses. So he, she rejects him, rejects him, rejects him, right? And then it gets to a point where he stops caring. He stops even trying to, to have relations with her. And what happens now is because he's no longer trying and she now no longer feels desired, even though she didn't want to lay down with him, but she still liked feeling like he wanted to lay down with her. She now finds herself struggling with, like, it, she may question herself. Is she still looking good? Whatever. So now she needs to validate herself. So what does she start to do? She starts to initiate relations with him. All right? Just to kind of make sure I still, it's almost like a, I still got it. All right? Make sure, okay, he still wants me. And once she gets the validation, guess what she does? Goes back to rejecting him. Goes back to the same thing. And they repeat this cycle over and over again. So I'm giving this example because, again, just to show you, yes, it happens on both sides. But to get back to the man doing it, it's the same thing. It just may be in a, in a different way. It may not be related to, again, the rejection of, of sexual relations. But people sometimes feed off of your attention and desire for them and once you take that away now they react but let me make something very clear as well before we move forward their reaction is not healthy meaning if if, if it because think about the example i gave you with the woman she still went back to rejecting him if this man reacts but still goes back to nonsense then this isn't worth it like so and i'm saying this isn't worth it because What's what I want to convey right now is some people use the whole stop caring as a tactic. Some women are told that, oh, OK, pull back from him and stop caring so he can start caring about you. That's not healthy because you're not resolving the real issue or addressing the real issue. All you're getting him to do is react in the moment. This isn't sustainable. So it's like, what are you going to do? Every time he now falls off, you're going to pull back and go through this whole game plan. That's exhausting. And it's not worth it. So please understand, do not use this as a tactic. I'm explaining what happens. Yes, by pulling back, you can get that reaction. So I'm not disputing that a woman stopping her care and stopping her attention can get a man to, to draw you know, back into her. But it's, it's just not for in your best interest. So why even bother? Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. Some people say you don't know what you have until it's gone. But in reality, for a lot of people, they knew what they had, but they never thought they'd lose it. And because of that, they become comfortable. And that starts to 